What's going on fellow veterans? I wanted to go ahead and make a video covering one of the first things that we're going to be doing, uh, getting our seeds started. So I'm using three different strains here. Um, and one thing that you will learn is when you're doing seeds or doing a grow, you're generally going to want to stick with either the same strain or things that uh, generally will take the same uh, type of nutrients because certain strains will uh, pull more nutrients than others. So it will be kind of difficult if you are not mixing uh, your um, nutrients correctly if you're using salts. But generally if you're using organic it should be okay as long as you uh, read the plant correctly. Um, one of the big things is always using uh, documentation so make sure that you label everything when you are doing this. Um, additionally one thing that I don't have on here is a date however that's okay because uh, we will be adding a date at, uh, when we transplant it into soil. So what we're going to be doing today is taking a Northern Lights Fast Strain, a Tangy Strain, and a White Widow Strain. I'm only going to be doing three of these white or two of these White Widows, one Tangy, and two of the Northern Lights. Uh, sometimes when you grow, you will actually have a plant that throws off some seeds, um, and that will be uh, a great advantage in your favor because seeds can be quite expensive. Uh, we're going to be getting some seeds out. Uh, to you all so uh, you know if you don't have seeds yet then you know um, you should be having those show up later but I wanted to go ahead and make this video to just give you a quick view of what it is like just making some seeds so I am keeping these since I have three different strains I have three different pieces of uh, paper towel uh, and generally what we're gonna do is we're just going to take our seed fold our paper towel over make sure it's uh, going to fit fit in our Ziploc bag and we're just going to drop these in here and spread them out a little bit don't want their tails coming together and then add some water you can use a spray bottle or you can just pour some water on it but that is it so these northern lights will go in here We'll do the same thing with the Tangy and the White Widows. And then you're going to take this and you're going to, going to add it to a dark, warm spot and check on it. You know, you can check on it daily if you want, but generally it's going to be two or three days when they pop. Um, and by pop, I mean you'll start seeing uh, the uh, seed break open. It's popping open and the little tail will start coming out. If you wait a while, uh, then your tail, um, your little root, which is what it is, will start growing into your um, pepper towel. Uh, generally, that's going to be fine. Like I, I you know, made, uh, you know, said in other posts, these are some pretty uh, hardy plants here, so it's not uh, generally going to kill it as long as you handle it with care. So we'll go ahead and finish these up and uh, put them in a warm dark place and then check back in a few days and then be dropping it in soil so we'll follow up with another video about that y'all take it easy